Welcome back, everybody. Back in the kitchen with Michelle from Lamer's Dairy, and we're doing some fun things with eggnog this morning. Uh, Lamer's Dairy, of course, we talked about that right in Appleton off 441. Just a neat place to do, you know, other than the mall, uh, to stop in and do some, you know, one-stop holiday shopping, exactly. which is great. You can kind of collect certain things, and then you'll put it together in a basket Absolutely. or a box. And we have the cheese boxes that we printed with our label. The that are so pretty and we can put anything in it. We have some that are ready to grab and go if that's what you want to do, but we also have ones that we can make up. And I think there's such a nice idea to send. I send um, to relatives who live you know, in different states. They really appreciate good Wisconsin cheese and sausage, and I kind of sign a card, a taste of Wisconsin. And, Ex oh, that, that's and, exactly And right. people look forward to it every year, and you do the shipping, so you just come that's on right. in and you, you right. know, put your stuff together, and then they'll take care of the rest. Uh, we're talking about the eggnog, and um, besides the regular eggnog, you also have a fun flavored eggnog for the season. Um, tell us about we that one. We have pumpkin spice, and we Ooh. actually introduced that this fall. And we're kind of toward the end of pumpkin as we phase into um, Christmas, mm -hmm. and we're looking for more of the traditional eggnog. But it was a real big hit. I so bet. Pretty color. Is it kind of that pumpkin-y color? It is kind of it, you know, that um, faint orange, mm. and this is really just kind of that hint of pumpkin. What a great idea. So you can stop in store and, and pick some of that up while supplies last. But today we're using the regular eggnog, which again, for people who aren't familiar with eggnog, what is it exactly? I know we drink it during the holiday season, but what's all in there? Well, it's um, very um, healthy, really. It's got some sugar in it, of course, but it is eggs and um, milk and cream, so and nutmeg and cinnamon. So. It's um, just a really festive um, product to drink or to bake with as we are today. So we're gonna use this eggnog in a, a quick bread recipe and it would go perfectly on, on Christmas morning with some of the mulled mm -hmm. apple cranberry cider or just, you know, That's right. it, it makes a great gift too during the holidays. Right. I love gifts from the heart. And it's so nice, gifts from your kitchen that you can make up and it has a little bit of love in it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of lamers, a little bit of love, so. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. And it is a quick bread, so it doesn't need to rise or any of that kind no, of stuff. No, it is. So. By its word, it is quick. And actually, this was a recipe that one of our customers brought to us, which was really nice. We have kind of, um, if you've been to the store, it's so, um, it's like a family atmosphere. And actually, um, our store manager, Sherry, is really great there. In fact, I overheard a, um, recently, there was a guest that came in who wanted to buy some milk for someone else and um, didn't know what kind of milk they buy. And Sherry said, oh, I know that person. That person buys skim. Oh, so that's, that's funny. the kind of place that Lamer Siri Country Store oh, is. That's neat. Okay, so, so the recipe, we've got some flour here. That's right, we have two cups of flour. Okay. We're basically going to mix our dry ingredients together and our wet ingredients together. Okay. So our dry ingredients include the two cups of flour and then we're going to have two teaspoons of baking powder. So it's important baking powder versus soda. Okay. Make sure you read your recipe. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that in there. And then we're just going to do some nutmeg if you okay. want to um, you bet. shave off. I love to use the fresh Me nutmeg too. in the grater. Really it makes a big difference. And you can just pick these little you know, guys right up at the grocery store. You don't have That's to go anywhere right. special to get it. And use a, a, you know, a microplane or just a, even a, a box grater to get that great flavor in there. Okay, yeah. so nutmeg, flour, baking powder. And a, just a pinch of salt. Okay. And that is, oops, mm. salt is over okay. here. We have to make sure we don't mix up our salt and yeah, our sugar, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly, okay, there we so go. So there we go, and we can just whisk that a little bit to fluff it up, that's okay. almost like re-sifting it. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is put our wet ingredients together. So does the sugar go in here or in, with the wet? It, um, oh, actually, you're absolutely right. It goes in with the dry, okay. it is dry. Sometimes Looks like, was that about a cup? That was a, um, a cup of sugar, okay. absolutely right. Okay. Thank you. No problem. And then we're going to, for our wet ingredients, we have a, cup, a half a cup of butter that's okay. been melted and cooled. Okay. And you can just do that very quickly in the microwave. Okay. And then we need a cup of our Lamer's Dairy eggnog. I love the, the glass bottles, they're so fun. It, it is so nice. They're sustainable, they're um, returnable. Um, it's great for the environment, great for the freshness of the milk as well. And then I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla at the same time. And one now, egg. And one egg into our wet, and then we're good to go. We just have to get those mixed up and then put them together. Now, Michelle, you brought along this neat little thing. I have one of these. I bought one of these um, last holiday season. And it's, you know, this is going to make one big loaf or mm -hmm. a couple of the, you know, smaller loaves so or small. these individual loaves. Right. And this is a pan that you can pick up at lots of different stores, and it's going to make um, eight mini loaves, which are great for bake sales or to mm -hmm. give the neighbor or to take into the office. So, might be a fun thing to pick up this holiday season. And that's right. 
I really do. I love getting homemade cards and homemade gifts for mm -hmm. the holidays. They're just extra special. Anybody can go out and buy something, but um, you know, it's taking that extra time to make something. Okay, so this so, smells so good. So we're just going to add the wet into the dry, and we just want to mix it enough so that it is incorporated. We don't want it to um, to overbeat it, or okay. it's going to be kind of a tough. Okay, so just kind of just fold kind of it fold together. That in. Like muffins. Exactly. It's just, it really has the consistency of muffin. It might be a little bit lumpy, um, but it bakes off really beautifully. And it is nice to package it in a little cellophane bag, and you could put, you know, bring a little um, bottle of eggnog to go with it. Sure, or an ornament or something like That's that. That's right. Now, you guys have a new website. Uh, tell us about that. We do. We have just relaunched our website. It's lamersdairyinc.com, and you can actually, um, there's some information about our company. It's a 100-year-old company. It's five generations, family-owned and operated. Um, there are three generations and actually a fourth coming up. Tim, our, um, the youngest of the four brothers who are running Lamer's Dairy, has an eight-year-old, Matt. Aww. And so he likes to come in with Daddy on <laughs> um, Saturdays. How fun. But you can order our cheese boxes also online and ship them anywhere in the country, as you said, to give a taste of Wisconsin. Um, you can just go ahead and um, order that right online. Well, of course, we always like to see you in the country store, but if you're a busy person like you, I know you're heading to Shibu or to uh, Sturgeon Bay after the show. Yes. You can probably even order on your uh, iPhone. <laughs> you know what? These days, a lot of people ordering gifts online, and that's mm -hmm. okay as long as you get it done. Uh, Preheated oven to what, t what temperature, Michelle? To 350. Okay, and then these bake for about how long? Well, the larger one bakes about 40 minutes. Again, you know, recipes, as you know, yeah. are always yes. a guide. Yes. So what's important is to make sure that it's done well. Okay. And we might have a little bit of emptiness in these wells, and we'll just fill it up with water. So um, the recipe is really made to go in a um, one-pound loaf. Oh, that's a good tip. So if you don't have enough batter to get into all of these, you can just fill one of the little loaves with water. And that'll, okay. Exactly. That's what I do. So it doesn't overheat the pan, but it, um, you know, you're getting just the right amount. Probably six of these would be perfect in this pan. All right. And here it is all done and out of the oven. Looks fantastic. Michelle, thanks so much for coming. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. And happy holidays from Lamer's Dairy.